On a beautiful day in Florida, officers received a phone call from a loss prevention officer at a local Target. The caller stated that three young teens were seen shoplifting thousands of dollars worth of junk food and various household items. The loss prevention officer also noted that it appeared the young teens were taking orders from an adult to steal items such as cookies and chips with the shopping cart filled to the top. To make matters worse, this was their third time coming in one week. When given a description of the teens, the employee stated they appeared to be under the age of 10 years old. Right, what are we doing? Right, pull up. Go to the loss prevention office. He's talking to her young man. Okay. No. Just keep going. Yeah, go Dispatch has been updated. Did they leave the store already? He's got one here. We're looking for the other two. Shorts. Hmm. Pulling a loss of prevention. They're out here. Where are they? They already got him? Yep. I don't know. They're straight out this way? Okay, he stopped out with one of them. Yeah, one of them's right here. The other two are straight out over here. Okay. The one that's the car. Do they take? Do they walk out with it up here? Yes, the whole okay. cart full of stuff. That's what okay. I've been telling them. All right. 29 Delta Echo Uniform Tango. 29 D E U T Red Altima. I need y'all step to the back of the car for me. 54. Lean up against the car. You want to tell me what y'all just did? Come clean now. We got you on video. When officers arrived, the woman to the left directed her younger sisters to steal over $1,100 in junk food and video games, then pretended to officers as if she didn't know what was going on. Boom. Yep. Uh, let's put her on the other side. My jacket's there. Let me have that purse. You got anything in here? Um, no, hold on. Um, I'll take it off right now. Poke me, stick me, hurt me. Take any weapons, right any drugs? I don't. I don't mind. I don't care. Did I did answer my question? No. Okay. What, what did she say? She's a minor. Well, it doesn't matter. No. You just, you just stole. Time. Oh, stuck in her hair. There we go. I've got one of the females at my location. You can call the camera, whatever. Got a camera on him? Got him. Understand? What's this? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? It's really a shame you're so young doing this. Else on you that I should know about? I haven't seen the vehicle. Watch your head. He's in. Uh, information from that one. Okay. We'll work on that from this one. Is that Schmidt or is that uh, Gibb? Oh, it is Smith. Smith. Schmidt. 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 Alrighty. Well, name, date of birth, see how old she is, see if she's under 18. Let's get parents headed this way, okay? Okay. She with them? Yeah. Got hooker. How old is she? 
How are you? Team. How are the other two? How are you? How are you? How are you? I feel like you're lying to me this entire time. 21 and then 11 or 12. Is that what you're saying? No, she's 22. Okay, great. Contributing to leading to your mind times too, and then these. Where's your parents? Mom, dad, whoever. Who's your legal guardian? Mom, where's she at? I think at home. What's your phone number? Yep. Um, real quick, I'm going to have her walk over there with you. Yep. With my car. Yep. So I can pull my car over there with you. Go. What's your phone number? We're going to have court dates on this. Front of that car up there. Right here, sit on this. What we're gonna do. What's your mom's name? Thomas. Regina. Mine is Regina. What's her mom's name? What's your mom's name? Regina. Where do you live? What's your address? You don't take a picture, sir? Yeah, I'm gonna do the trunk. Okay, make sure you get a tag. Thanks. Hey, do they need that stuff before we can get the itemized? I'm gonna be taking her with me. If mom's coming, I ha I'll have the miner. Can you just walk over there and I'll hang out with your car? Yeah. Just leave the windows down and then unlock, please. The back window. Thank you. Hey, hey, hold on. I think so. I'll let you push this in. I haven't put mine in yet. I don't think it's going to be felony. Alright, hey. Well, while you're waiting, start with an arrest report for her. Gotcha. Okay. You can start with your narrative, you can start adding her information, you can add their information in, and you can go ahead and start on all that, okay? Officers went to loss prevention and attempted to determine the exact amount of the three times these teens stole from the same target, which totaled almost $5,000. In the midst of that, their parents arrived attempting to bail their kids out of the situation. Hello. Thomas. Thomas. Turn on that one. She's, uh, we have one in this car and the other in the other car. So um, we're getting video right now, but they walked out with two, a giant shopping cart full of stuff, not paying for it, just walked right out with it. So with what? A giant shopping cart full of a lot of stuff from Target yeah. without paying for it and started loading this car up when we pulled really? up. Really? Mm -hmm. She's being arrested okay. for shoplifting and contributing to the delinquency of two minors. Okay. Um, the 15 year old's in here and the 12 year old is in here. I don't okay. know which one you want to talk to first or if you want to talk up there or what is it you want to do. Essentially, here's here's probably what the way we're going to take this. They're going to be issued NTAs and be released to you. So they're okay. going to have maybe a court date down the line where they have to answer for what they did. Okay. And they may get put in like a diversion program or something like that. I, I'm not sure that that'll be up to the courts to decide. I'm sorry. Is this your vehicle? It is. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. I'm just getting well, so I don't need to be out in the rain. I understand. Okay, go ahead. I'm just me. Just me. Um, are you familiar with the NTA process here yeah. in Clyde County? Okay. Um, so with our NTA, essentially what has to happen is they have to admit to what they did. There'll be a, a small thing written 
piece of paper. They have to sign it and you have to sign it. And it's just a signing saying, hey, whatever the court decides, we're going to show up to it and we're going to accept what, what happened. Um, have they ever been arrested previously for anything no. like this that you're aware of? Have either of them ever been arrested ever? No. Okay. So maybe hopefully this is a wake up call. Don't hang around with the wrong people. And don't do this type of stuff because well, eventually. So you know, Target says they've been here multiple times and stole multiple times. Oh, really? So, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously we can't without their video of the other time, but they've recognized them from stealing before. So, it's happened more than once. So, as a parent, I would want to know as well. Yeah. Because so, when they well. come here on the weekends, they, I don't come. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like they're still targeting those people and stuff, but yeah. Uh, uh, permission to talk to your daughters, ma'am? About the incident? Yes, ma'am, yes. asking if I have permission. Okay, thank you. I don't want to talk to anybody. Huh? I mean, like, I don't want to talk to my 15 year right now. I don't want to talk to my 15 You don't have to talk to anybody. Okay. I'm just asking if I have permission to you speak do. with them. You do. So you fully understand the Miranda warning and have no questions about it, correct? Yes. All right, and you want to talk to me, so we're good. Um, so. Who drove here today? I did. You did? Whose idea was it to come to Target today? Nobody's really. You guys didn't have plans to come here? No. So how did you end up at Target? We went to the Circle K down the street. Mm -hmm. And we was going to go to McDonald's and then we just came here. You just came to Target? Okay. Do you have a job? No. Have you had a job before? When's the last time you had a job? Um, last year in like December. Last December? About, where did you work? Boston Whaler. Boston Whaler? The boat company. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. What'd you do there? I did um, lamination. Lamination? Was this in last year in uh, this past last Christmas or the Christmas before? This past Christmas. This past Christmas? How long did you work there? For about six months. About six months? Okay. So you hadn't worked for about six months then? Got it. And you guys ended up at Target. How old's your sister? You're both of them? 12 and 15. 12 and 15? Okay, so they're 12 and 15 years old. And you know they're both minors. Yeah. And you guys go inside Target. You get a load of shopping cart up. Right? Not me, but them, yeah. You didn't put one item in that shopping cart. I put some items in. You put some of those items in. Okay. Did you pay for the items when you left? Did your sister pay for the items when she left? Either of them? I don't think so, no. When you went in and you were pulling items off the shelf, did you plan on paying for those items? You did. So you went to the checkout and went to checkout and scanned those items in? Or did you walk directly out of the store with a shopping cart? I didn't have the shopping cart. Who did? One of my sisters. Which one? The one in that car. Which one? The two of you. Walked out of the store with a shopping cart. With no intention to pay. Do you know how much stuff you guys took? $1,185 worth of stuff. Do you know what that is? That's felony shoplifting. Do you know what else? This isn't the first time you guys have done this here. We have video of it other times, and your sister told me you guys have done it more than one time. So you entered a store with no intention to pay and left with almost $1,200 worth of merchandise. Put it in your car, passed all final points of sale with your two minor sisters as your accomplices. How does that sound? Horrible, right? Really bad. One of them 12 years old. 
both of them said it was your idea to come here today. That's not true. Because both of them said it. I don't know why they would tell me that. All right. So, you and your sister are going to be placed under arrest for felony shoplifting. You're also going to be additionally charged with contributing to the delinquency of two minors. All three of you are being trespassed from Target, and if you return, you will be arrested. Do you understand? Do you have any questions? No. Do you want this window rolled down? Roll it up. Okay. The teens were given a free ride down to the local jail and made it just in time for their jailhouse supper. Loss Prevention stated they took over $5,000 in merchandise in just three days. The case is still pending. We'll keep you updated on the outcome. <laughs>